In Windows 11, it's possible to add additional IP addresses to your network interface card. And I'll explain why in just a second. I'm going to right click on the little network icon there and click on Network and Internet Settings. And then I'm going to go to where it says Advanced. Next, I'm going to click on More Network Adapter Options. And there's my network card. I'm going to right click on it and choose Properties. Now, inside the properties of the network interface card, I'm going to go to IP version 4. Although, if you're using IP version 6, then you can go ahead and make changes there. And here's my IP address. Now, if you're set to using DHCP, where it says obtain an IP address automatically, you have to set this IP address to be a use the following IP address, which is a static IP address. If you don't really know what to do, then what you could do here is you can go and right click on the network interface card and choose status and then choose details and it tells you what your current IP information is. So you're just going to duplicate this. If it says 21.102, 255 three times and then your gateway and then your DNS, you want to just write this down or take a snapshot of it and then you're going to duplicate that information when you go back into the IP version 4 settings. So now I'm back in here and I can just take that information and just use the following IP address and then type that in. All right, once that's all done, now we can add our second IP address. So I'll click on Advanced, click on Add, and now I can add any IP address I want. So I'm going to choose 192.168.20.200 and I'll choose the default subnet mask, although I can change that as well. Click Add. Now I have two IP addresses. They're actually on two different subnets as well. All right, so I promised you I'd tell you why you'd want to do that. Well, I've had several instances where I needed to connect some new device, and the default IP address was not on the same subnet I was on. So, for instance, let's say I plugged in a new wireless access point, and the default IP is 192.168.1.1, but I'm on 192.168.21. something. So, in order for me to communicate with it, I needed to add that second IP address and be on that dot one network. Then I can communicate with the wireless access point, change the IP address of it, and then I can come back here and if I want I can delete that additional IP address. I don't have to, it's not hurting anything. Um, the only issue that you might have is if you VPN into your office and it's using the same subnet as your alternate IP address. That could cause some problems. Other than that, it doesn't hurt anything to have the additional IP address. So that is how and why you'd add an additional IP address in Windows 11 and it also works in older versions as well.